So I got this, uh, this sent to us uh, by a listener in uh, Kentucky, I think. Fayette County Public Schools, virtually Virtual Learning Academy. Uh, this is a fifth grade assignment where they had to study what the NBA is doing. Okay, here, here's the audio of this. Hey, ladies, if you look here, this is his assignment. This is the Fayette County Public Schools. You go over here and you see the news Ella NBA boycott. Let's click on it. Mm. Read this attached article. Wow. What is the relationship we'll between Jacob up. Blake and Breonna Taylor? Yeah, and they don't give the context of that. Here's no. the article. NBA protests over okay. Black Lives Matter. Now. And then you get the one-sided down. viewpoint of Black Lives Matter. Roll down. And here's the questions. So please. And what are the questions? If anybody tells you this is fake, they're like, this is not fake. What is this the reason? Go ahead. Fayette County Public Schools. Okay, it's yeah. about go ahead. Stop. Kids. In in small town, fifth grade assignment. So just to show, it's not just universities. Uh, what's the relationship between Jacob Blake and Breonna Taylor? A. Both were victims of police violence, sparking protests against racial injustice. Or B. One supports the NBA player's decision to boycott the other doesn't. Both were involved in the decision to boycott the NBA, blah, blah, blah. So obviously, you know, they were both victims of police violence. Uh, Unbelievable. Without explaining what exactly happened in the in the uh, I'm telling in Jacob you, Blake this incident. is working. This is, it, it working. is working. Yeah, this is, is just what social media is doing is working. The conversation in my home, we talk about this stuff all the time in my home. I, I mean, I'm dad. Mm-hmm. Imagine I'm talking about it in my home. And because of social media, my kids will go. But, Dad, that's not what happened. Yeah. Right. Uh, you're, you're going right. to believe some friend of yours that sent a story on Facebook over something that I do. And you've <laughs> grown and to love and trust me. Really scary. It's, it's there, terrifying. It's terrifying. You parents, you do not have a chance if you aren't at your school, watch last week's Wednesday special. Just go to Glenn TV at Blaze TV. Watch last week's Wednesday night special. If you see that, it is all about the schools. When I, I'm, I'm going on a couple of day vacation to celebrate my wife's birthday. I'm coming back next Monday. Uh, on Wednesday of next week, we have part two of what they're putting into our schools. And this is horrifying. And if you are not at your school, if you are not looking over every single thing that is coming from the school, you are going to lose your kids. That is not hyperbole. I truly Mm. believe there is a chance that we are on the edge of the times that have been foretold since the beginning of time. I believe we're on the precipice of that. If that's true, you're going to lose your children. Your children will turn against you. They, you will lose them to darkness. You must read what is happening. Trust yourself. Pray like you've never prayed before. And trust the spirit to tell you what to do. Everyone has a right to their own personal revelation. No one else can have revelation for you, but you, you and your family, you get revelation for. You can't tell me that you get revelation for me and my family, but I know you get revelation for you and your family. And now is more important than ever. You and your children are all children of God, and he does not want to lose you. If you sincerely come to him and say, Help me understand. Help me. If you do your own homework and then bring it back to him and say, is this true? Is this not true? It's the only light that you can trust. Don't trust me. Don't trust anyone. Do your own homework and trust only in him. These are the times where you must be so one with the spirit. If it says stop. Turn around, pull your kids out, do this. You have to be so in step that you do it immediately or the consequences will be severe.